What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Sky Bees. Oh, yeah, guys. Uh, so last episode, we ended up making the ME controller. I wasn't expecting to be able to do that so soon, but yeah, we were able to make it, and that's super awesome. This will allow us to have power an applied energistic system. However, we need more stuff in order for that to be useful. Like we need storage and we need cables and we need everything else, ways to access the items. Uh, so we got some things ahead for us to uh, be able to do this. So off camera, I've just done a small little thing here. I just added in our uh, iron bee over here. So we now have an iron block and it's doing its thing. I did add in a new elevator here, so I don't have to run all the way back to the center of the base every single time. I think that's just a little bit nicer. And yeah, it looks like we have collected 96 iron honeycomb at this point. 104 now. Uh, we aren't processing it just yet, but if we need a whole bunch of iron real quickly, I can just take the combs out and throw them into our centrifuges here, and then they'll process it four times faster than what they're normally processing things at. Uh, if we take a look over at our marble, we're up to almost 700 of it. So it might be about time that we stop the marble B from producing more. And I don't really know how much marble we're going to need uh, in this series, but I think we might be about there. So that's something that we'll have to look at as well. Uh, steel ingots are doing pretty good. Nether stars, I don't think we're processing those right now because we're doing marble instead. Gravel, sand, all that stuff is looking pretty good. Lots of ender pearls. We could probably turn that off at this point as well, I think. Anyway, uh, so we need to look at being able to make storage. Yeah, we can't do anything with the ME controller itself other than power it and look at pretty light. So uh, if we take a look, we're going to want an ME drive. This will hold up to 10 different storage components. So this thing is doable i'm pretty sure machine casing yeah that's not expensive at all uh engineering processors we made a bunch last episode steel plates are easy the fluix cable i actually haven't looked at but i assume this is pretty easy so fluix crystal plus a quartz fiber quartz is another quartz dust surface quartz dust whatever and some glass you know getting a glass bee set up might be something that we should do just for quality of life and be something i think about uh so yeah we're gonna need ME storage cells in order to put our data on, and that consists of both a housing and a storage component. So the housing does require a dissolution chamber. So this is something new from industrial foregoing that we're going to need. Well, new that we haven't made yet in the series. Uh, so we're going to need the dissolution chamber, and that is powered off liquid honey. So we are going to have to start collecting the liquid honey from the honeycombs that we're processing to be able to use it in other things. Uh, it does require vibrant quartz glass as well, so that's something else to take note of. And pure certus quartz crystal, I assume we can just use the enrichment chamber. Yeah, looks like that's pretty simple. Okay, so liquid honey, vibrant quartz glass, and dissolution chamber. These are all brand new things that we're gonna have to do, but let's just look at the dissolution chamber itself. Uh, so the dissolution chamber does require us to have a chest, Plastic, so that's something new. Uh, pity machine frame, I think that's new. Yeah, we haven't done a runic altar yet in Batania, so we're gonna need one of those. Oh my goodness, so many things that we're gonna have to make here. All right, all right. Uh, well, the runic altar, that's pretty simple. Maybe we should start there. Is there anything else crazy here? Diamond gear, chest, yeah, plastic. Plastic is also a thing that's going to take a little bit of effort, too. So in order to make plastic, we have to take dry rubber and smelt it, right? So dry rubber uh, looks like it can be smelted in a bunch of different ways. But anyway, the dry rubber is made from nine tiny dry rubber. It doesn't look like there's any other way to get that. And the tiny dry rubber we can get from rubber bees, it looks like. One tiny dry rubber per honeycomb, which is kind of bad uh there's also the latex processing unit so you can make latex from wood extract the latex out of the wood and then process it into the tiny dry rubber this way i'm not sure which way we should go about doing this to be completely honest Th this is the way i've always done in the past maybe the b way is better maybe it's faster i don't know uh we might look at making the rubber bees but anyway Let's back up just a little bit. We'll uh, 
take those off the list. We still have the plastic here. Uh, let's look at the runic altar. So we need five living rock and a mana diamond or a mana pearl. So five living rock and a mana diamond or a mana pearl. Well, pearls are downstairs and <laughs> diamonds are up here. It's more expensive to use a diamond, but that's, I'm just being lazy. So we're going to use the diamond. Okay. So mana diamond. Let's throw the diamond into your mana pool that already has mana in there. It uses a little bit, converts the diamond. And there's that and this. Awesome. Runic altar. All right. So new chapter unlocked, apparently. Okay. So in order for the runic altar to do anything, I might actually move this off this center island. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll move it over to the blood magic or over here or something. I, I don't know yet. Anyway, in order for this to do anything, we have to pipe mana into it. Well, I guess more specifically, use a mana spreader to shoot mana into it. Uh, so one of these endo flames needs to move, and then we have to make ourselves a new mana spreader. Now, the way you take mana and put it into the runic altar through the mana spreaders, you have to have a mana, mana spreader touching the mana pool. And when it touches it, then it knows that it's extracting and can shoot the mana somewhere. Okay, uh, so we need to make a new mana spreader. And if I place this right, it should just be facing directly at the altar and I don't have to use the wand thing. There we go. Uh, so yeah, even though you can't see the internal buffer because I don't have the, the wand of the forest on me, it should be completely full of mana and waiting to shoot at something. Yeah, now we can see the particles. You can see this one's pointing down, this one's pointing this way. Uh, mana spreader, that shows full. This one shows empty, right? Okay, so this won't do anything until we have the correct recipe on here. And then we have to put a piece of living rock in the right click it in order for that to happen. So we are looking for making a pity machine a frame. So we need to get ourselves four oak logs, four iron and one redstone block. That seems pretty easy. I'm pretty sure we have everything. So you can right click the items on the altar, just drop them on there. It's faster just to drop them. We'll do it this way like so. And Oh, that might be using more mana than what we have. I'm not... No, no, I guess this is just a really slow process. Okay, well, you can see the little counter there on the right-hand side slowly filling up. Magically, it's daytime, and now we have this thing done. Oops. Awesome. Okay, so there is our pity machine frame. Quest completed. Awesome. So we have that. I don't need this pedal anymore. So we can get rid of this. I guess we can get rid of that for now. I don't need that on the list. So the dissolution chamber. Okay, yeah, plastic is the next thing that we need to look at in order to make any progress here. Uh, so get rid of that. So the plastic again, dry rubber, tiny rubber, and then maybe, yeah, you know what? Let's just take a look at the rubber bees. So in order to make rubber bees, I don't know if we did this or not. Uh, I, I'm guessing I didn't do this because I don't remember this breed. But anyway, slimy bee plus steel bee equals a rubber bee. Okay, so we need slimy and steel. All right, so I went ahead and I added our glass bee over here. It's doing its thing, making its combs. And I put a new drawer downstairs for our glass honeycomb. Yep. That way we have that in the future so I don't have to worry about smelting down sand anymore, which is just nice. Okay, so I wanted to look at using the apiary breeder. I haven't done this before. So there's a slimy and a steel. There's some steel. Oh, it looks like I need to have a thing there. Okay, let me grab a thing. I think we had two extras over here. And if we put that, whoop, wrong one, this one, like so. So this is doing a thing. Do we have to wait for this bar to fill up all the way down to here in order for this to work? Maybe. All right, well, this is slower than I thought it was gonna be. It looks like there are upgrades here, so maybe we can speed this up significantly, and if so, that would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and wait on this and see how this works. All right, I was watching it, it did the thing, and then uh, the empty bee jar went away, and I was like, what happened? Well, apparently, it goes into here. All right, so we have a rubber bee now. So I can just go ahead and tell it to make one more of those. That takes forever. Again, we can probably speed it up by using these upgrades here, which is pretty cool. I don't know, does it make a an adult bee or 
a baby bee. It looks like it's an adult, so that's cool. We don't even have to wait for it to grow up. Awesome. Um, all right, so yeah, we'll just let this happen. So now we have our rubber bee. I guess the other thing we need to figure out is the rubber bee, what it needs to produce. Is it just flowers? It needs a log. So this is how I get into these things, by the way. Just take out one of these corner blocks. Where are you going? Where are you going? Go back to your apiary. What are you, what are you doing, guy? Oh, the, oh, did I break the multi-block so he doesn't know where to go? Yeah, I think that's what happened. He pollinated, I broke the multi-block, didn't know where to go, they ended up flying around. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll put that there, and then this, we'll put the rubber bee into here, import that, unlock, cool. Alright, well, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at how that operates. I also need to get myself a drawer for the new combs downstairs as well, so let me go ahead and just do some more stuff, and we'll be right back. All right, well, our rubber bee is doing well, and I took a bunch of the rubber honeycomb that we had, and I put it into all four of our centrifuges over here, so we were collecting this quite quickly. In fact, I think it's still processing. No, no, it looks like it finished up. Okay, so yeah, we did 88 tiny dry rubber. One stack of that. All right, well, actually, let's just grab all of it and try and turn it into as many of the big rubber as we can. And then we need to smelt it so we actually get the plastic, right? So there's that, and there's that. We got nine of them. Dry rubber, yeah. So making the bee obviously was the correct call here. Uh, so we'll do that. And then we just throw that into one of our furnaces, like I saw. We're going to have one left over. Is it two sticks or four sticks? I can't remember. I'll put four sticks in there so it does that final one. All right, so we needed two pieces of plastic, right? in order to make the dissolution chamber. All right, and then we needed two buckets, a diamond gear, the diamond gear that is made downstairs. So we need uh, four diamonds and then we need the gear press. Did we make a gear press previously? I can't remember. I don't think we did. I don't see it in here. Okay, um, gear press. So that is three steel plates and an engineer wire cutter. So the wire cutter, that might still be downstairs. I don't see it up here. Okay, <laughs> and then three steel plate. All right, well, all that stuff should be down here. Let's just take a look at this thing real quick. I might have to get the other blueprint crafting component. Uh, I don't see the wire cutter in there. Okay, well, I think what I should do, since we are needing a lot of steel plates, let's just take a full stack of that and throw that into here and just let that make a whole bunch of steel plates. All right, how are we doing? We just need three of these. Awesome. All right, so now that we have that, we can come over to our, our workbench way over here, make ourselves a mold, swippity swap them. There's that and that. This, this. Nope, wrong one. This and this guy. Awesome. All right, I guess I'll just leave that in there for now. Uh, and then we need to put the mold into our metal press in order to make the diamond one. So this is going to be a little bit different. Let me take those. So we shift right click that out of there, put this one in here by right clicking. And I think I just right click the diamonds on here or maybe I just drop them. Okay, you drop them on there. There we go. And there is a diamond gear. Awesome. So again, we'll just swap this back to the way it was. I'll leave this metal press mold down here and then we can put the rest of our steel to make more things. Okay, so dissolution chamber, we have that. We have everything else. All right, let's go ahead and craft this guy up. I think I have to make two buckets. I'm pretty sure we don't have the two buckets up here. Let's, we might have one. Yeah, we have one. All right, we'll make another bucket and then there was some gold in there. All right, do this, do do do. So there's our buckets. Do we have everything to make this now? We are missing the plastic and a chest. There's that, and it was two sticks, by the way. Okay, dissolution chamber, awesome. Oh, is there a quest that I didn't click? <laughs> oh no, probably. Uh, industrial foregoing? This one, dissolution chamber. Okay, uh, pity machine frame, we did that. Oh, this wants us to do the fluid extractor and latex processing unit in order to unlock this guy. Uh, 
Okay. Well, we might not get the quest complete. Anyway, these don't give us rewards, so like getting the quests on them doesn't really matter, does it? I don't think it does. What is this thing over here? Sky Beast collect all click collect all rewards. What did I get? Industrial foregoing manual. Oh. So the next thing that we need is this vibrant quartz crystal. So in order to do that, we need quartz glass plus glowstone. Actually, that's way cheaper. I was thinking that we're gonna have to get into for some reason, I thought this was Ender IO, but I don't think Ender IO is even in this pack. So yeah, this is a lot cheaper than I was thinking this was going to be. So quartz glass, that is just four glass and five quartz dust, nether quartz dust, certus quartz dust. Okay, um, let's grab some nether quartz dust since we have a bunch of that. And we do have some glass so we can do this guy. I'm just going to make as much as we can. 48, that seems pretty good. And then some glowstone. Do we have glowstone? We do. How many vibrant quartz glass did I need? Aha! I found it. It's for the storage housing. I didn't see it before because we have the storage cell here, but I don't have the storage housing bookmarked. Yeah, and that's why I require the vibrant quartz glass. Okay, so we are going to want 10 of those housings. So we need 20 vibrant quartz glass, which means we need 40 glowstone. And the glowstone is in here. There is 40 of those. That, that, there we go. There's our vibrant quartz glass. Okay, our inventory is becoming a mess right now. Uh, now that we have that, let's bookmark this so I know what I'm working, what I'm looking at here. So, dissolution chamber with honey makes this. So now we need to get honey out of our machines downstairs our centrifuges so we can use it do we have fluid pipes in here i assume we do somewhere because we were using that for the water before fluid cable fluid cable so that is brick stairs plus gold nuggets hmm i'm almost wondering if it'd be better for me just to yoink some of these but i don't think so uh we can make some more stairs i don't remember if i had extra brick cooked up oh i do okay so if we do that well there's four of those and then we can make those into stairs like so and then we just need some gold nuggets like so and this and there we go there's eight of them and then we had four more here that should probably get us going i would imagine so dissolution chamber plus some of that fluid. And then we also need the extraction cable wrench thingy. Okay. So let's see what we can do down here. We need to give this power and we need to give it some honey. Uh, let's see here. This is kind of awkward. I think if we do this, we got power. And then if I connect the fluid cable here and here, we should be able to make this work question mark well we have honey in here well that's that's good and this thing is constantly processing so look, yeah it looks like we got a little bit more awesome okay so the emmy storage housing vibrant quartz glass we need the pure certus quartz crystal which we saw we just put uh well it looks like we can use the certus quartz seed in the enrichment chamber so let me go ahead and get that stuff done and then we'll be right back to try and make this Okay, so I haven't used this machine before, I'm pretty certain. And I was just messing around with it a little bit. It looks like you can't put in more than one item per slot, which is fun. <laughs> so we have to do this one at a time. Uh, there is a lock input, so I assume you can like program this to know where certain items go, right? And then pipe in items so it'll always make that specific thing, I guess? I haven't tried that yet. Anyway. There is no shift click. There's no plus symbol here. So we got to do this manually. That and then this, this, this. And that's using 90 FE per tick. Okay. Well, at least it tells you like how long this is going to be. <laughs> so we're halfway there on the crafting. ETA three more seconds. I like that. And there we go. ME storage housing. Sweet. All right, so now that we have that, we also need an ME storage component to put in there. That's more honey. Well, I think what I should probably do is just make all 10 of these storage housings. We're currently waiting on 
these uh, Certus Quartz seeds to turn into the pure. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and continue with this, make all of these, and then I'm going to try and make some of the storage components. Again, it's the same process here, just some redstone, some more Certus, and then these logic processors. I need to go make 10 of those. So we'll be right back. All right, so I've been spending a bunch of time crafting here. We now have our ME storage housings, and I guess I left the uh, the storage components downstairs. So we have 10 of those as well. Our ME controller, I made some uh, Fluix cable. I have some extra processors over here. I did have to make a logic press. We didn't make one of those yet. So now uh, I'm looking at making the ME terminal. Right, so this thing requires an annihilation and a formation core that requires us to have these logic processors and some Fluex dust. I guess I need the Fluex dust on me. Let's grab that. All right, so we're gonna make one of each of these. Well, one crafting recipe, which gives you two of each. So a formation and an annihilation. Okay, so we can get rid of those. The ME terminal requires us to have the panel, if it'll get to it. This one, nope, that's the illuminated. I want the regular one. Where is it? Is it just called an illuminated panel? Maybe it is. I thought it was just called like a blink panel or something. Anyway, uh, so we need three quartz, glass, redstone, glowstone, and iron. That's pretty easy stuff to do. So there's that, that, that. And then we need the quartz glass, which I think is in here. There we go. So there's this, that, there's three illuminated panels. And there's our ME terminal. So we have the terminal, we have the cables, we have not made, let's get rid of this stuff. We have not made the ME drive yet. So let's see if we can do that. That's a machine casing. Okay, so at this point we need to go and grab the steel plates that we processed a bunch of earlier. Those should all be ready to go down here. Okay. I don't know if there is anything else that we needed from downstairs. I kind of feel like we have about everything that we need up here, hopefully. Anyway, so there's that, the machine casing. Uh, this has to be done on the basic crafting table. So we need quartz, enriched iron. Oh, is that all downstairs? Oh no. Okay. Uh, I guess we don't have everything that we need up here. <laughs> Let's go grab our quartz enriched iron. Did we? You know what? I don't think we ever set up our bees for that, did we? So if we have any extra, it would be over in an alloy furnace at this point. And we don't have any extra. Okay. Well, hmm. Getting that set up is definitely a thing that we should do. So that is iron plus nether quartz. Well, I have iron down here. We've been processing some iron combs. We're up to 200. Oh, let me grab a full stack. So I'll grab that and I'll put some quartz in here and then we will cook up our quartz enriched iron. Uh, there's that and that. Let's do that. Maybe that should be fine. We'll have extras. Okay. So aside from that, we have everything else. Yeah, we're just waiting on that. We need one stone and then we need two recipes of the quartz iron. And now we should be good to go in order to make that. And once that's done, we can start looking at our digital storage, which is awesome. Oh my goodness, that's going to be a game changer. I mean, even once we get this all set up, it's not going to be like we can just immediately switch over to everything, but <laughs> we're going to start consolidating things and it's going to be glorious and I'm going to love it. Okay, so machine casing, there's that. And this guy, there we go. There's our ME drive. Awesome. So the one thing I forgot to do while we were down here is to grab our storage components, which should all be in our dissolution chamber. And yes, the lock allows you to put in the items, lock it while it's crafting, and then only those components will go into the lock slots, which is great. So that quest is complete. If we do this, I'm going to take up 10 inventory slots. I don't know if I have 10 inventory slots to do that with. So for now, let's not do that. Um... Let's see here. Again, this is all temporary just so we can see things happening. Uh, this is bad, but it'll be fine. So there's that. And then we'll put a key bowl here and then the terminal here. All right. Well, we can see applied energistics. We can't put anything in there yet because we don't have anywhere for things to go. So let's do this and this. And we can throw those into there. Awesome. And now 
we can start putting things into applied energistics. It's amazing. Awesome. Huh. I don't like the, the big, the tall terminal. Never liked that. So we'll get rid of that. Um, also, I should have this centered, but I don't know why it's not. Anyway, so yeah, that's great. So now if we want to search for another quartz, we can search for another quartz and find it easily. So everything that we have upstairs, we need to bring and put into here. I need to make sure we have enough power to sustain this. And it looks like we might. <laughs> and if we don't, we can always just come over here and turn off the centrifuges, the ones that don't need to be on specifically at that point in time. And that should, did I not click the button? Disable redstone. Yeah, and that should make it so we aren't using as much power. It looks like we're gaining it back now, which is great. Yeah, so we can kind of play around with that, but upping our power, that's definitely something that we need to do. Well, all right, guys, I went ahead and I moved the ME system up here and I have put everything in it, all of our diamond chests that we had over here, all of our flowers. I took them out of the drawers and I put them all in here. You can see we have a couple of discs now with red lights, which means they are completely full. They can't hold anything else on them. The ones with the yellow lights mean that they have the maximum amount of unique types on them, but they could still hold more of those types, right? All right, so those just can't hold anything else. Anyway, we have literally everything in here. Sort by number of items. Yeah, you can see I've got a, quite a bit of these different flowers in here. We've been using black for various different things. But yeah, all of our resources are now in here. I forgot that we had this power supply over here with the two centrifuges. We haven't really been using this for quite some time. But yeah, I was like, all right, well, yeah, let's let's move it up here and make it a little bit more convenient. So here we are. Uh, so yeah, this is really, really good. We got to work on our power situation though. I kind of want to stop using a little bit of power over there and a little bit of power over here. I want to have like a more centralized power setup. So that's probably something that we're going to be working on next episode. I do know this pack has flux networks. I don't know if we'll be able to get into this or not. I haven't really looked at it, but uh, yeah, we can produce power somewhere, put it into the flux plug and then put points everywhere we need power going forward. So wireless power, that's really awesome. That's probably something we'll be doing or some other type of wireless power anyway. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.